As inflation rates continue to climb, the government is scrambling to put up mitigating measures apart from the economic team. The House of Representatives is trying to formulate urgent interventions. Shaila Francisco has the story. House Speaker Gloria Macapagal Arroyo personally appealed to businessmen to help the government in fighting inflation. That meeting is really off the record because it was a, it was a brainstorming thing. But I'm glad that Joey Joey uh, Salceda brought out in a in a you know in a more organized manner. Arroyo met with producers, dealers, and traders amid reports that she plans to recommend the removal of tariffs of meat and fish products to address inflation. But Arroyo clarifies it was just one of the ideas that came up during a meeting with economic managers last week. She stresses she has no plans to recommend the importation of meat products at reduced tariff rates. She, however, proposed five solutions to temper inflation. One is the price importation. And another one is the tarification. Another one is the tariff on fish. Another one is something that has to do with oil, fuel, and then the exchange rate. Already the government is looking to reduce the tariff of fish, wheat, and corn to 5%. Tariffs of these products currently range from 5 to 35%. We want to make it 5 so it, it's simpler, it's more, a uniform, and when you have a, a, a standard rate like 5, it's kind of neutral in the sense that it does not affect maybe the uh, consumption. If we want to do it, it has to be in coordination with Congress. They have to declare a recess, and while they are in recess, then we can change. The president can change the tariff. But we're moving in that direction. The Agriculture Department, meanwhile, plans to import 10,000 metric tons of pork to increase supply. The DA is also eyeing importation of more fish, chicken, and rice. While the Samang Industry and Agricultura is amenable to their proposals, the group says the government must instead focus on lowering fuel prices by suspending fuel excise taxes. Bakit luma, tumaas yung production cost ng pot magsasaka? Dahil dun sa fuel price. Kung may supply problem, sana wala nang bigas sa mercado, wala nang uh, port sa mercado. So hindi yun ang problema. Ang problema is yung Oil price to mass, kaya to mass lahat ito. Jokno, however, dismissed their proposal, saying structural reforms cannot be suspended due to short term hiccups. The Agriculture Department is set to meet with agri stakeholders on Friday to discuss importation and tariff issues. Shaila Francisco, we are One News.